Hello kids. So today we are starting with a new chapter that is adjectives, right? So what are adjectives? I've already highlighted for you. Adjectives we'll be doing, right? And uh, so without further ado, let's just get into it. Adjectives are basically, if I have to define it, adjectives are words that are used to describe or modify nouns, right? So people, places, things or ideas that are nouns that you know, right? So in a sentence, whenever a noun is used, then you have to describe about it or if you have to modify it, then we use adjectives. What, is, what does adjective do is they provide additional information about the nouns that they are associated with, helping to give a clearer and more detailed picture. I've used the word clearer and more detailed both here. We learn why and how we use them. These are, com uh, you know, comparative degrees. We'll talk about it later in the chapter. Adjectives can convey qualities such as size, color, shape, age, origin, material and so much more right so anything and everything that you need to know about the nouns or the pronouns that you're using in a sentence they can be used uh, they'll be used through adjectives so if i have to put it very simply adjectives qualify or describe nouns right for example the blue sky here blue is the adjective that describes the quality of the sky what color is the sky i mean or it's blue right she wore a beautiful dress so beautiful is the adjective that describes the dress how was the dress looking? It was looking beautiful. They live in a large house. Large describes the size of a house. Right? What's the size of a house? It's a large house. It's a big house. An old book. So old here describes the age of the book. Right? Again, these are all descriptions. The cat chased a small mouse. Small is the size of the mouse. Right? So it's a small mouse. It's a tiny mouse. And it's a description. So all these words, blue, beautiful, large, old, and small. They are all adjectives, right? All right, moving on. Adjectives also have different forms to match the number and gender of the noun they modify. For instance, if I'm using singular, uh, you know, singular number, then I'll say a happy child, right? But again, if I'm saying plural, I'll use happy children. Uh, when I'm using masculine gender, then I'll say a handsome man. But when I'll be using feminine gender, I'll say a beautiful woman. So this is how uh, adjectives are also modified to suit uh, the number or the gender of the noun that, you know, they are being used with. Right, moving on. So we'll do the kinds or types of adjectives that we have. So basically, there are mainly four types of adjectives. The first are adjectives of quality. The second, the adjective of quantity. Adjective of number or numeral adjectives or the fourth one is distributive numeral adjective. So I think they're all pretty uh, obvious from the names, but we'll go into, uh, you know, we'll go by one by one into all of their depths, beginning with adjective of quality. So adjective of quality, basically any adjective that describes a particular quality of how the person is or how not even the person, how the subject that we are talking about, how the subject is, right? So that is basically the quality of, uh, you know, uh, the quality of the person and that is what is being specified by these adjectives, that is an adjective of quality. So Anuja is a clever girl. Here clever is the adjective of uh, quality. Like Anuja, what kind of a girl she is? She is a clever one, right? So it's an adjective of quality. He was a brave soldier. What kind of a soldier was he? Brave. Their house is very big. How's the house? It's big. Devisha is a tall girl. So big, tall, brave, clever. These are all adjectives of quality. So there are a number of other uh, adjectives that, uh, you know, that would come within these. So, you know, everything from beautiful, right, uh, ugly, poor, rich, uh, handsome, tall. These are all adjectives of quality they all define the quality of this subject right so these are all adjectives of quality next we have the adjective of quantity you know adjective of quantity is whatever uh, whichever adjective tells you about the exact quantity of the subject that we are talking about the num it might be the number you know uh, it might be the number of subjects we are talking about it might be the you know its weight and the space that it occupies, so it might be anything, but anything that quantifies 
the subject anything that turns it into a quantity is an adjective of quantity like they have little sugar when they have you know very less sugar enough, so they have little sugar see uh, she added some sugar to the tea how much like you cannot actually measure it right you can in teaspoons but you don't know how much sugar has been put so just say she added some sugar to her tea we have less money today we had more money yesterday we have less money today so we are comparing it but still we are letting you know what the uh, quantity is so we have less money today the child showed great patience what kind of patience did he show great you know it was more than what is expected so these are some of the adjectives of quantity right moving on we have uh, adjectives of number that is also known as a numeral adjective so example for example if i say i have one pen or i have three pens imagine i had three pens here so if i say i have three pens i am using a number to denote whatever quantity or quality that i have so it is a numeral adjective i have three pens yeah sure it's a numeral adjective six people six persons are absent today so yeah six again is uh, the adjective of number here we got three awards we got fifth position uh, so anything from zero to one up to infinity any kind of number that you are using right it will all be coming under the same numeral adjective or adjective of number so this is the third type and the fourth type that we have it's the distributive numeral adjective right uh, so distributive is you know when you whenever you are classifying like the numeral adjective you already know right so anything that denotes to numbers when you quantify when you classify that into uh separate categories that can you know there is a number like there are 100 kids and you you tell them that all of them should be present on republic day there is a function so each student must be present on republic day right that's what we are talking about so we have uh acknowledged that yes there are 100 students okay that's a numeral adjective but each of them should bring it so that is distributive numeral adjective we are distributing the numbers that are already there or for example every student must bring 100 rupees on monday right so every there are 40 students in the class and i am talking to all of them so these are examples of distributive uh, numeral adjective right so these are the four major kinds of adjective apart from that there are a lot of pronouns that can be used as adjectives we'll talk about them while we are doing the assignments and uh, moving on we move on to degrees of comparison or well, i do one thing just read the following sentence ria is a clever girl Ria is cleverer than Dia. Ria is the cleverest student in our class. Right? In the first sentence, I'm using clever. In the second, I use cleverer. And in the third, I use cleverest. So basically, I'm implying that there is clever. Right? And it is less than cleverer. Which in turn is less than cleverest. Right? So this is what we are implying here. Right? Uh, you have heard of other words, you know, some other words that are like, you know, uh, somebody is good, then there is someone who is better than them, yeah, and then someone who is best of the lot, or someone's bad, and it is bad, no, it's worse, worse than that, and worst of the lot, right? So these are degrees of comparison you'll see that the adjective clever or good or bad have been used in three different forms or rather as we call it three different degrees these are called degrees of comparison or degrees of adjectives now let's uh, go a bit further into it let's see how many degrees there are and how do we distinguish between them so the first one is positive degree positive degree is in which an adjective is used as it is no changes are made to it whatever is the you know the sole form the first form that is being used so for example raju is a bad boy all right she is a lovely girl raju is as bad as ajay she is as lovely because there is only one lovely right just ignore this one she is as lovely as reena okay so these are all uh, positive degrees these are just simple adjectives stated as it is these are the first forms of adjectives you can call it right these are the first form of their respective adjectives moving on the second form is comparative degree when we compare two people or two objects or two places and you know and then we come to the conclusion and tell that the degree of one's quality is higher than the other in fact 
higher itself is a comparative is a word of you know comparative uh, degree is a comparative adjective that is known as a comparative degree so what do you use uh, in comparative degree we add er to the adjective and use than after it so that you know that it is being compared to whom so raju is worse than gaurav now that than is used i know it is a comparative degree she is lovelier than preeti right so than is again used here i know that it is a comparative degree so the positive degree for worse is as i told you earlier bad and lovelier is lovely right so as you see this one changes form but yeah in for in case of lovely you add i e r i'll tell you about how to change them also in the upcoming slides so just stay tuned right so this is how lovely becomes lovelier when being compared to and bad becomes worse when being compared to someone else now this is the comparison between two people two objects two places basically two entities two nouns what about if i have to compare more than two what about if i have to compare a lot of uh, you know people or or places or things at once what will i do then i'll use the superlative degree so superlative degree as the name suggests is the super degree like it's the best of them all again best as i said is another superlative word right and in superlative degree adject the adjective shows the highest degree of the quality and it is used when more than two things are compared for example the loveliest girl in the class as i have used here and raju is the worst boy in the team right so yeah uh, and when we are using it it is usually followed by of all in you know these kind of classes and the is always used the article the will always be used before superlative degree right there are some rules that you have to keep in mind uh, when we are forming and compare you know forming uh, comparative and superlative forms for one syllable adjectives you can simply add er for comparative and est for superlative right uh, for example if i am using the word fast its comparative degree would be faster and its uh, superlative degree would be fastest right but for one syllable adjectives that end in e you only need to add simply r for comparative and st for superlative right for example uh, if i have to use wise so wise is the positive degree wiser would be the comparative degree and wisest would be its superlative degree right so as you can see we have only added r and st here we have added er and est so these are for one syllable adjectives all right so if the uh syllable adjective is uh, you know if a one syllable adjective is ending in a single consonant with a single vowel before it double the consonant before adding er or est for example uh, if i am talking about fat right so the comparative degree for fat so this is a single consonant and it has a single vowel before it then it becomes fatter and fattest right so these are all one syllable adjective small words shorter words for longer adjectives which have two or more syllable simply use more for comparative and most for superlative for example beautiful its comparative degree becomes more beautiful and its superlative degree becomes most beautiful got it right so this is how you compare and form comparative and superlative forms from positive degrees so if it's one syllable you know it's if it's simple one syllable word which does not have a vowel in the end simply add er and s e s t if it has a vowel at the end of it if it has e at the end of it use r and s t if it has a consonant if it is a one syllable adjective but has a consonant in the end and vowel at the second last you just double the consonant and add er and s and e s t right and if it is a two syllable adjective which is a two syllable uh, syllable word simply use more and most for comparative and superlative degrees right okay moving on we'll be doing uh, some of you know we'll be uh, getting know a lot of not some a lot of degrees of comparison and how you can uh, you know uh, go through them how you can 
memorize them if possible or else i have already given you the rules you can go by the rules as well right so let's just check out some positive comparative and superlative degrees angry angrier angriest able abler ablest bad worst worst bitter bitter or bitterest big bigger biggest bland blander blandest black blacker blackest bloody bloody or bloodiest bold bolder boldest blue bluer bluest bossy bossy or bossiest brief briefer briefest brave braver bravest bright brighter brightest Busy, busier, busiest. Beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. Broad, broader, broadest. Calm, calmer, calmest. Chewy, chewier, chewiest. Cheap, cheaper, cheapest. Chubby, chubbier, chubbiest. Clean, cleaner, cleanest. Classy, classier, classiest. Clear, clear, clearest. Close, closer, closest. Cloudy, cloudier, cloudiest. Clever, cleverer, cleverest. Clumsy, clumsier, clumsiest. Cold, colder, coldest. Coarse, coarser, coarsest. Crazy, crazier, craziest. Cool, cooler, coolest. Creamy, cremier, cremiest. Crispy, crispier, crispiest. Creepy, creepier, creepiest. Cruel, crueler, cruelest. Right? Moving on. Crunchy, crunchier, crunchiest. Cute, cuter, cutest. Curvy, curvier, curviest. Damp, damper, dampest. Deadly, deadlier, deadliest. Dark, darker, darkest. Deep, deeper, deepest. Dirty, dirtier, dirtiest. Dry, drier, driest. Dense, denser, densest. Dull, duller, dullest. Dusty, dustier, dustiest. Dumb, dumber, dumbest. Easy, easier, easiest. Early, earlier, earliest. Faint, fainter, faintest. Fancy, fancier, fanciest. Fair, fairer, fairest. Far, further or farther, depending upon the use. Furthest or farthest, depending upon the use. Fat, fatter, fattest. Fast, faster, fastest. Few, fewer, fewest. Filthy, filthier, filthiest. Fine, finer, finest. Fierce, fiercer, fiercest. Flaky, flakier, flakiest. Firm, firmer, firmest. Fresh, fresher, freshest. Flat, flatter, flattest. Friendly, friendlier, friendliest. Funny, funnier, funniest. Fit, fitter, fittest. Full, fuller, fullest. Good, better, best. Gentle, gentler, gentlest. Grand, grander, grandest. Gloomy, gloomier, gloomiest. Greasy, greasier, greasiest. Grave, graver, gravest. Greedy, greedier, greediest. Great, greater, greatest. Gross, grosser, grossest. Happy, happier, happiest. Hairy, hairier, hairiest. Hard, harder, hardest. Handy, handier, handiest. Healthy, healthier, healthiest. Next, harsh, harsh, harshest. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. Hip, hipper, hippest. Hungry, hungrier, hungriest. High, higher, highest. Humble, humbler, humblest. Hot, hotter, hottest. Handsome, more handsome, most handsome. Itchy, itchier, itchiest. Icy, icier, iciest. Juicy, juicier, juiciest. Kind, kinda, kindest. Lazy, lazier, laziest. Large, larger, largest. Likely, likelier, likeliest. Late, later, latest. Light, lighter, lightest. Lively, livelier, liveliest. Long, longer, longest. Now, little, it can be used both as an amount or as a size. When you're using it as an amount, we say little, less, least. When you're using it in, uh, in form of size, then we'll use little, little, or littlest. Lovely, lovelier, loveliest. Lonely, lonelier, loneliest. Low, lower, lowest, loud, louder, loudest, many more, most, mean, minimum, meanest, mad, madder, maddest, messy, messier, messiest, not the footballer, just messy, unclean, moist, moisture, moistest, mild, milder, mildest, naughty, naughty, naughtiest, narrow, narrower, narrowest, near, nearer, nearest, nasty, nastier, nastiest, new, near, newest, neat, neater, neatest, nice, nicer, nicest, noisy, noisier, noisiest, needy, needier, neediest. Oily, oilier, oiliest, odd, odder, oddest, old, older or elder, oldest or eldest, popular, more popular, most popular, polite, politer, politest, plain, plainer, plainest, poor, poorer, poorest, proud, prouder, proudest, pure, purer, purest, pretty, prettier, prettiest, right? Quiet, quieter, quietest. Quick, quicker, quickest. Raw, rawer, rawest. Rare, rarer, rarest. Ripe, riper, ripest. Rich, richer, richest. Rough, rougher, roughest. Roomy, roomier, roomiest. Risky, riskier, riskiest. Rusty, rustier, rustiest. Rude, ruder, rudest. Renowned, more renowned, most renowned. Safe, safer, safest. Sad, sadder, saddest. Sane, saner, sanest. Salty, saltier, saltiest. Shallow, shallower, shallowest. Scary, scarier, scariest. Sharp, sharper, sharpest. Short, shorter, shortest. Shiny, shinier, shiniest. Silly, sillier, silliest. 
shy, shy er, shy est. Sincere, sincere, sincere est. Simple, simple, simplest. Sleepy, sleepiest, sleepiest. Skinny, skinny, skinniest. Slow, slow, slowest. Slim, slimmer, slimmest. Small, smaller, smallest. Smart, smarter, smartest. Smelly, smellier, smelliest. Smooth, smoother, smoothest. Smoky, smokiest, smokiest. Soon, sooner, soonest. Soft, softer, softest. Sorry, sorrier, sorriest. Sore, sorer, sorest. Sar, sarer, sarest. Steep, steeper, steepest. Spicy, spicier, spiciest. Stingy, stingier, stingiest. Strict, stricter, strictest. Strange, stranger, strangest. Sunny, sunnier, sunniest. Strong, stronger, strongest. Sweet, sweeter, sweetest. Sweaty, sweatier, sweatiest. Tall, taller, tallest. Tasty, tastier, tastiest. Thick, thicker, thickest. Tan, tanner, tannest. Thin, thinner, thinnest. Tiny, tinier, tiniest. Thirsty, thirstier, thirstiest. True, truer, truest. Tough, tougher, toughest. Right? And the last step, ugly, uglier, ugliest. Wealthy, wealthier, wealthiest. Warm, warmer, warmest. Weird, weirder, weirdest. Weak, weaker, weakest. Wet, wetter, wettest. Wild, wilder, wildest. Wide, wide, widest. Wide, wider, widest. Worldly, worldlier, worldliest. Wise, wiser, wisest. Worthy, worthier, worthiest. Windy, windier, windiest. And young, younger, youngest. So I've given you about 200 words with their positive, comparative, and superlative degrees. Just go through them. You can also see them in your booklet if you have that. If not, you can get it from... Uh, just contact uh, someone on the website, you'll get it, right? So you can get the book set as well. Uh, just, it will also be available there or you can just see it here. Make a list. Keep repeating it. It's not that difficult. You'll just get it, you know. You just need to get into the hang. So these are positive, comparative and superlative degrees of adjectives. So we'll just go through whatever we have learned today. Adjectives are words that are used to describe or modify nouns. Nouns, you know, basically people, places, things or ideas in a sentence or even pronouns. So if there is a noun or a pronoun that we are talking about, and if you need to tell about the quality, uh, you know, like size, color, shape, age, origin, material, and much more, then we use adjectives to uh, modify it or describe it. For example, blue skies, beautiful dress, large house, old book, small mouse, all of them are uh, adjectives. Adjectives also have different forms to match the number and gender of the nouns they modify. Singular, plural, masculine, feminine, they'll only go with all of them. There are four kinds of adjectives, adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, adjective of number and distributive numeral adjective, right? Quality tells you uh, how the subject is, quantity tells you how much it is, uh, number adjectives, numeral adjectives tell you how many they are and distributive numeral adjectives talks about specifying some uh, section from a whole, from an already existing numeral adjective, right? And then there are degrees of comparison, right? We have positive degree comparative degree and superlative degree, right? So we have a lot of examples here for all of them. You can just go through them, right? And, right, and I also told the rules for one syllable adjectives, you know, if uh, just add ER to the comparative and EST for superlative. For one syllabus adjective that end in E, add only R for comparative and ES and only ST for superlative. But for one syllable adjective that end in a single consonant with a single vowel before it, Use, uh, you know, just double the consonant before adding ER or EST. Like fat, fatter, fattest, uh, fattest. Also like, you know, that end in E, wise, wise or wisest. Fast, faster, fastest, you already know. And for longer adjectives, there are longer, there are uh, more than two syllables. You know, two or more syllables. If, if it's just a long word, like fascinating. Simply use more fascinating, most fascinating. That's all it takes, right? And just go through this list. You know, uh, the sooner you remember it, the better. But if you can remember the this uh, list of formulas, you will not need to actually, you know, go, uh, memorize all of these words. These and much more because, you know, vocabulary is unending. It cannot end. But yeah, this will help you a lot. All of these uh, rules that you, if you learn properly, this will help you a lot when it comes to degrees of comparison. Great. Now that you're done with the chapter, let's move on to the assignment. Thank you.